Hello and welcome in this video about Natron. So this software, Natron, is a free solution for Nuke. So it's built by a French guy actually, and this software you can download. So if you go in Natron GitHub, so you tap Natron on Google, you're gonna have this link, and you're gonna have here. You can download choose uh, which type of computer I hope you're on windows and you can download natron here okay so um, this is a very very nice package free to do uh, compositing so you have kind of everything um you have in many many ways um and the presentation is almost the same uh, just some colors and typo very different but the overall is pretty much the same okay so here we are the view uh, where we can use and put the images so there is the viewer here so we're just gonna load an image just to work with so let's do a read and here you're gonna straight go into a folder with some images so just take an image sequence of you i'm just gonna take this well sequence i did a while, a while ago so now as you see I connected this here but you can also go in the image and press 1 on the numpad to have uh, the same result okay and now you, you are reading the image so this is the node view where you're gonna put your image sequences and all your effects read and stuff okay so this is kind of the workspace the node graph on the right you have the properties so the read properties you can see now is reading this image sequence it puts you uh, the way uh, the shots the frame range um, you can see if there is image missing what the message you gonna do all the stuff is here frame rate and for the project setting here you see it's hg uh, classic hg stuff you can see the frame rate and everything here you have the play button so basically you see now it's moving on the space is reading the image at the specific time so that's one of the features um, here if you press here play it can tell you the fps and it's gonna play along the stuff okay so this is the way to have your image sequence you can also put a clip video clip mp4 move every type of uh, reading format for videos and here you can have stuff so you see the green you say it's buffered so now it's reading in real time 24 frames per, per second so that's the time you're gonna see the video very important because when you're doing stuff maybe you're gonna compute so you don't see the real time okay so here you have the resolution what you're seeing and um, frame per second and stuff like this okay so all this natron is like nuke you can have a lot of nodes to work on this kind of image so if you press tab you have access to a lot of stuff here you can see kind of all the nodes so if you want to do like color correct here you have like um, color correct here now you have a node when you need a source and you can also mask so I'm gonna put it here the source and we want this to be on the viewer on the two so now here you're gonna increase the saturation so very saturated well now a lot of contrast gamma and we have very different stuff and now as you see the viewer is a one and two so if you press one you see just the read and if you press two you see the color correct one so as you see here you can see on the arrow is like putting this to say this is not what we read and now this is what we read so i'm just jumping between one and two on the numpad and here on the a you see is literally reading the two stuff connected to the viewer okay so that's a good way to compare both elements right so um, this is one of the way with the color correct here you can also do uh, maybe all the type of effect like a blur if you want to do a direction blur 
uh, same you want to do after this the connection and here you have access to all the blur stuff okay so on the color correct as you see we change the saturation gamma here on the stuff we can also change for the shadows for the mid tones and stuff like this and here on the blur now you have to double click to reveal this on the top and so it's based on two nodes so there is like the first and the last node okay so the direction blur here you can see the name if you change the name here and you say blur you're gonna put blur here as well you see it's connected by the name same for the color correct color code and now it's color correct here okay so double click on your blur you can increase the amount of blur here so if you want a bit more of blur you can change the scale so now it's like you know changing this like this we can rotate the blur so very like a directional blur and we can also have a mix on this so we use a bit or more of what we are seeing okay so this is this and this is now on the two so now on one there is the proper read the proper image at the beginning and now the blur with like the color correct before if you press d you suppressing the node and the effect so d is a way to suppress the effect here i suppress the blur i put the blur i suppress the color correct i put the color correct i'm just pressing d like disable okay so this is one of the way to work with that and as you see those effects are always applied during the animation so if you press play now you're gonna compute so as you see it's red here it's very low so it's because it's computing the images to render with so you're gonna have to wait this to be fully green to see this in your real time or at least at the time of the frame rate you put on the image so that's the way to work in a software like natron read the image the viewer and you put a bunch of effects and those effects gonna be applied on your image and that's what you see about compositing so this is something we used to do in 3d apply effects like this now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load some passes so when we're gonna do some renders or when you're gonna work with some other renders you're gonna work with like passes so we're just waiting this green stuff so you see it's moving on the space we have this weird blue whale shape moving that's good so now what we want to do is we want to read all the stuff so here i have the ao for example so if you look at the ao here ah it's empty sorry for that let's see if i have something else um like diffuse lighting it's empty as well um refraction Maybe I don't have the passes ready for this image, so that's gonna be a fail. Um, the GI maybe. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I don't think we're gonna have uh, all we know we want in terms of effect here, but basically the compositing is also a way to merge all the image together so when you render multiple type of passes you're gonna put multiple type of read here and composite them by himself when you finish your composition you have your image here you did some renders i'm just gonna go here and put a right version right node and the right node is the way to you know just say where you want the stiff to appear so you're gonna put here here there is a TMP here, maybe we can go something else, maybe we want to go in the images here, save and put like um, test, that's it. So now we have the source here, we want this to be the source. So basically now we're going to write an image sequence based on what we see here. So the right node is here, it's saying what we're going to see. You're gonna override the test. We want to have some paging, the node, the informations, you see. So all this is there, and when you press render, now you say, oh, you're trying to render, but you didn't specify the arch number. So I'm like, okay, I can sell here, and I put here just some commas here. So now when I press render, is rendering with this as a padding. So it's saying, okay, 
every X frame you're gonna have this and you see seeing like the right one, one percent, two percent, time remaining, number of frame and everything. Okay, and this is basically applying this read, those effects and writing here okay so very very straightforward stuff you can have a lot of stuff for tracking as well uh, you can have the trackers so it's, it's allowing here to put you some tracking stuff we don't gonna do tracking at the moment but this is a software when you can do tracking as well uh, very much compositing oriented but yeah basically you read your stuff here you have the curve editor you can put some keys on your stuff if you want for example to cut a key here on the saturation and maybe at the frame 10 you want this to be totally unsaturated you can put another key and now in between this and this it's gonna be oh let's see here like very saturated and losing saturation over time okay so this is something you can see here it's moving automatically because it's interpolating in between and as all the animation tools if you go into curve editor you can see here the saturation is animated here and you can always play with like curves to have like a smoother animation something maybe you're looking for since a moment to have this too. so here i was just touching at the blue but if you do just you know like saturation curve here and you can play with everything okay so this is a way to play with the graph um, and yeah progress is basically when you render what is happening and you have access to yeah shit ton of, of stuff so you have like all the checkers the read the write uh, here you have the light node the ramp you can do some noise and you know very like compositing stuff so um, i really advise you to go into compositing um, uh, softwares if you want to learn more about support puzzle compositing but definitely in the course in on the studio in on the stuff we're gonna do together is gonna be one of the tools we can use to build some assets okay so just a quick you know reminder of this press tab here to try the tracker properties here 